Koi Creek runs through Coquitlam. It feeds tributaries that flow into the Fraser River, and it's a salmon-bearing stream. Every four years, there's a predominant chum run that comes through. Uh, the coho runs are pretty successful year over year. During the past 20 years, careful management has helped restore the hoi hatchery in the face of urban development, habitat loss, rising ocean temperatures, and commercial fishing. But as the fish return, another threat emerges. Three males caught fishing in Hoy Creek, um, and they were, I guess, uh, dip netting or, or taking a, a small shallow net and rounding up fish and loading them into a cooler. Fishing like this is banned on Hoy Creek. Even on the Coquitlam River, there are restrictions and limits. Otherwise, it's considered poaching. And people reporting to us, telling us as much information as possible. Like recording license plates and taking pictures, but stopping short of approaching anybody. We don't want people confronting uh, individuals because uh, violence has resulted in the past. Fines start at $575 and can climb to $100,000 for a first offense. In most cases, he says poachers are eventually caught. That's because they return. Well, you know, they may get away at one time, but they're going to do it again because they got away with it. No chances are we'll get them. Hoy Creek Hatchery is seen as a success for an urban stream where poachers are far from the only threat. Uh, one person with their dog letting it run through a graveled section of the creek, um, and that can kill several thousand salmon in one shot. There's hope that awareness, along with enforcement, will be enough to give spawning salmon a fighting chance. Megan Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.